Hi, Rickster's here, back with another Most Wanted episode. Now, we're gonna challenge Blacklist 12 Izzy in the Toyota Supra. Yeah. So, we got a sprint and a circuit. I like the first one, second one, oh boy. Forgot to mention, she does drive a Mazda RX-8. One of the last pure rotary powered cars ever to be made in production. It's not as revered as the Mazda RX-7, mind you, but it's okay, you know? I still like Mazdas, especially the RX-7 and MX-5, but, you know, the RX-8 also had a lot of weird reliability issues with the oil piston ring issue, just like with most rotaries, but when they're kept up and maintained, they're very fun to drive, and they still scream at high RPMs. So it's still a fun sports car, they just require a lot more maintenance than a typical piston because of the oil dilution issues with the piston rings. Oh wow, this race is uh, much harder for sure because, well, I mean, it's just one of those days, you know, where I bash into walls and slide around like an idiot. I love the Supra though. It, let me see if I can do like a shortcut here. Oh no, that was not a shortcut. Oh, maybe I could catch up here? Possibly? Oh, that's just a shortcut? I never even knew if that shortcut existed in this part of the track. Definitely you have to use a lot of nitrous to keep pace though. Holy moly. I may actually uh, possibly have a chance of losing this one. Oh, this is going to be close. Like I said, this game gets harder. Once you reach up to this level, this is where the real rubber hits the road. And why this game is so revered. It's going to be close. Come on, Nitrous. Yeah, there we go. At 144 miles an hour. Yeah, so I did win by a second and a half near the end, but that was close. So, now we have to do two laps. Perfect launch. And let's get to it. Now, later on, there are some cars you do want to win. The RX-8 is actually not a bad car in this game. But I am playing the modded version of Most Wanted. This is called Deep for Speed Most Wanted Redux. Basically, it's like a heavy mod package of the PC version. So a lot of cars and sounds are upgraded, graphics look better. And to me, it makes the game more fun because now you have even more cars you can look into. I don't know if it removes the hard cap of how many cars you can store in your garage, but it would be cool to find out. As for the race itself, well, this one so far seems a little bit easier. I think it's just because the Super is so fast on the top end, the RX-8 does better on the lower end, which is kind of ironic, because even though stock rx 8 would not keep up with stock Super in terms of speed, they have pretty good handling, even though they make power differently. I just love that little turbo effect they added for this Supra. It sounds so nice. Oh. Fun fact, if you hit that bridge back there that it flew over, and you actually hit the beam, your car actually stops momentum. Two fans. Hmm. Alright. So far, so good. This is where- oh, What on earth? What kind of flopping like a beach whale was that? That was the strangest turn I've ever seen in this game. The car just literally tilted on its side going, whoa. I don't think cars do that in real life unless I hit the curb too hard. Or do my stereotype hit the car into the wall to turn. Yeah, because you know, in real life, you hit the wall to turn faster. Great gaming tactics since 1994. Now let's buy some nitrous and get faster. Even if it's temporary, as you bonk into more walls, great going, greater confidence for the win. So, lap two. Store up the nitrous. 
got to take that shortcut again because that actually saves time. It's risky, but it'll save time. Unless I hit the wall like that. Come on. Yeah, this is, uh... Not as hard as the first one. The first one was much harder than the second. And sometimes in this game, it does that. Where the first race is harder than the second, or sometimes the second race is harder than the first. Let's add some nitrous and let's get really going fast. 175 miles an hour. There's a shortcut I noticed in the first lap, so I'm going to take this one. Oh! Oh, well that did work. And the boss took it too. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, I don't want that. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I definitely want to keep using a little bit of nitrous periodically. Gotta keep them honest, you know. Wait, did the boss just crash and did a 360? Oh, I'm for it now. I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that. Negative to almost 2,000 feet. Uh-huh. Wow. Well, this is the turn where I flopped like a beach whale, so let's see if I can not flop like a beach whale this time around. There we go. Now I didn't flop like a beach whale on that turn. Much better result on that one. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? Oh, do you see this? Do you see how quickly Izzy caught up? Hmm, interesting. Sometimes I do think this game does have that rubber band effect, as, as uh, racers call it, where you get ahead enough that there's like a catch-up mechanic. I do think sometimes most wanted has that at times. It's very subtle though. Let's go to the next race. Yeah! There we go. 8,000. 433.05 That's what I did on that one. And Izzy was significantly behind on that. Alright, so. Want to get the unique performance upgrade? Unique supercharger. Good. Now let's see if the bonus marker was through the middle one. Release car from impound. Get any car you want out of impound. Well, alright, so no car this time. Next rival is Blacklist 11. Let's see what this rival does. Low Park, Big Lou. Is Ryza. Oh god, the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Strength, Toll Booth Time Trials. This slab of Korean muscle considers itself a real ladies' man. He's all show. Rumor has it he panics around the cops and bails and races the first chance he gets. Along with that, they say he has problems working the clutch, so he's slow off the line. I wouldn't count on it if I was you. Okay. Okay, so we have 29,850 cash. Let's go to our car select and take a look here. There's the OG SVT. Definitely slower on top speed, but better acceleration and a little bit better handling. I guess I'll keep the, driving the Supra and get some upgrades for it. Because now, I should be able to um, make this go even faster. Because now we should have some new parts unlocked. Or at the very least, we'll be able to afford some upgrades. Alright, let's see here. Yes, I can get the Pro Engine upgrade. That's going to be helpful. Can we get that? Transmission, can we get that? No. Okay. Can we get suspension? No. Have to beat Big Lou to get the suspension upgrade. Okay. How about nitrous? No. I have to beat Big Lou for that too. Okay. How about tires? No. I have to beat the next one. Okay. The useless brakes. I can get pro. Okay. Well, let's save that for last. How about the turbo? No. I have to beat the next black list ahead of them to do that one. Okay. So, useless brakes it is with the engine. <laughs> reason I say it's useless because the brakes help a little bit in this game, but... They can be added for last, because most of the time you're not using the brakes the way you'd normally do it. So, let's view the cart. 
Let's see here. So it's 14,200 for the engine, 5,200 for the brakes. And I'll have 10,450 remaining. Let's see what our objectives is for Blacklist 15. Five race wins, three milestones, 300,000 bounty. So let's do a race event. Let's do a... Is there any toll booth? Yes, there is. Perfect. 4,000 is now the cash bounty. Good. So we'll do that and then go from there. Oh. Oh yeah, that's definitely faster. Holy moly. It makes almost too much power now. Come on. Yeah, it definitely uh, gets moving. Oh, 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 and I hit an F4-250. Whoops, sorry, F4-250. There we go, got a time bonus there. Gotta maintain that speed on the toll booth. The toll booths get harder. Going almost 150 now. Jeez. Whoa. Yep. This is fast, man. This car goes really nice now, but holy moly, through the turns. Let's see if I can reach faster than 170. Almost. That's pretty impressive about Nitrous to get, after you just do a little squirt, just go really fast. Alright, let's add some more. Ooh. Oh, jeez, that was bad. I'm trying to force it to downshift. There we go. There we go. At 150, 160. Let's see if we can get it to go faster. Come on. I want to see if I can hit faster than 170. Come on. Yes! 183? Yeah, 186. There we go. So 186 is now the new top speed record for the Super for this series. I have to use a lot of hammering and nitrous to get to that speed, but boy, does it reach it. Oh, and then I hit this generic sedan that's yellow. Take a little shortcut here. I've never been for this shortcut. Let's see if it's actually useful. Yes, it is. Man, we're flying through the town at 165 miles an hour. That's the news van from 1990s. And a donut. Oh! Whoops. I accidentally hit that donut. They're probably like, attention to all units. The donut is in front of the town. And they're like, oh! Why? 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 Just kidding. Oh! What? Huh? Oh, that's gonna make some great footage. What? What was that? It just walked like a V12 and just going, oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, 4,000. Now, I was told you can actually not have to jump to the safe house and just do the next objective. Ah, here we go. I had to press it there. So, I'll do one more race and then we'll wrap up this episode. Let's do another toll booth. Yeah, that definitely helps. Oh, this is a weird view. I don't like this view. This view is strange. Oh, man. This is definitely part of the mod. Yeah, this, those camera views can be a little bit strange, I can tell you that. Going 160 miles an hour. Jeez. So the brakes, they do seem to help a little bit. I mean, they do decrease the stopping distance, so there is a little bit of a point to it, but it could be placebo. Like, or placebo. Gosh, words reach words. Yeah, placebo. Like, they appear to be working or it's just based on anecdotal evidence. 
not sure if it's that or it's just I got used to it sliding around more often. Gotta apply them nitrous wool. Oh, oh. oh god. Oh, that was a dump truck. That dump truck, hopefully, it wasn't a Mack truck because you really can feel run down when you hit a Mack truck. <laughs> okay, I probably got the joke wrong. Just trying to slide my way in here and just see if I can get to the next objective, hopefully. Already almost 50% of the course done, or is that 50% to the next goal? No, it's course done. It's not by total move. I don't know which one's faster, but I'm taking the left lane. Come on. There we go. Oh. Okay. Just gotta let that nitrous build up a bit. This, yeah, the Supra is really good for these long-distance toll booth races that involve a lot of high speed. Because, you know, the top speed of this car is really good. Not sure if it's the same performance as the non-modded Redux, but... With the Redux, it seems like... You know, it sounds nicer. That's for sure. Yeah, the handling leaves a lot to be desired. I'm gonna take the shortcut. And this shortcut as well, because why not? There we go, and then apply a full set of nitrous here. Go for that. And there we go, and take this shortcut. Hey, the shortcuts worked. Yeah. Alright, let's wrap this up here. So. Be the boss, did two races, and got the Super to go 186 miles an hour. Fastest yet in this series. Next one will continue as per usual. It's not a whole lot of more upgrades to do, so I'll just save up cash and maybe at some point we'll get a better ride, maybe? Who knows? All I know is I'll just keep keeping the same car for now, I mean, unless if otherwise. I'm fine with driving the Supra, it's just occasionally go and go wait what kind of moments. So I do run a Ko-Fi page if you wish to support the channel, links in the description below. And this is Rigster's Journey, signing off.